Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. It's Lean Driver once again coming to you with a not unboxing but review of another uh, watch that I received as part of my um, membership uh, on the uh, Random Rob. Uh, well, up to recently it was the Random Rob uh, Patreon group, but uh, he's discontinued the Patreon group and it's now uh, Discord only. Um, he has set it up so that uh, the Discord server that he runs is now basically the substitute for Patreon. Um, the explanation for that is can be found on one of Random Rob's videos. I'll leave a link to his channel on YouTube so you can uh, take a look at that. But anyway. He does watch tours where folks can sign up and by luck of the draw, which is the new way of the watch tours, uh, by luck of the draw, you are selected as one of a dozen folks who gets to um, receive a watch from uh, his gathering of watches, play with it for a few days, and then send it on to another member of the tour. Well, today uh, I received, I wasn't expecting it actually, but I did receive uh, this little number. Well, not so little really. Uh, very interesting, uh, dare I say, strange looking watch um, from The Electricians. <laughs> That's the name of the company. It's The Electricians Watch. Uh, they call this the... Uh, this particular model is called the Blackout, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, it's one of uh, 13 different colorways that they offer uh, for sale on their website. Um, I will leave a link, of course, in the description to their website. You can take a look. These are relatively uh, reasonably priced watches. Uh, they go from about $225 U.S., all the way up to, I believe, about 470. Most of them are either 225 or 300 something. 350, I think. Uh, relatively reasonable priced uh, watches. Uh, they are Swiss watches. Very interesting looking watches if you are into this kind of thing. These are electric watches, these are not quartz. Uh, these are these have more in common with the old 1960s and 70s Bulova uh, Accutron watches, the ones that uh, used a uh, that were electric watches that used a tuning fork uh, to synchronize uh, the watches. The oscillations of the tuning fork uh, timed the watch, most like the oscillations of a quartz crystal time a quartz watch. Uh, I'm not sure how this watch achieves its timing, um, but all I could find out about the movement is it's an in-house proprietary electric movement. Now you can even see the little coil right there uh, with the windings on it, and there's the battery right there. Uh, very interesting watch uh, to be sure comes on this uh, NATO strap. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, and you can see the case back. It says, do not open. Authorized personnel only. Um, so I don't know if they're being funny or, or what. It looks like a simple press on case back to me. Uh, I don't see why anybody with a case back opening knife or some such tool couldn't get in there to at least change the battery. But, um, uh, all right, if we take them at their word that this is not a user serviceable watch, I think that's kind of uh, superfluous. But uh, then again, I didn't create the watch. <laughs> so, uh, whatever. I'll just put this back together. I am not a fan of NATO straps. I think I've made that fairly clear over over time. Uh, quite frankly, this watch strap doesn't make me any happier about NATO straps. 
Uh, it has a, uh, a crown the um, at the 3 o'clock position. The, the 2 o'clock position is a backlight. You have four LEDs, one, two, three, four, and they backlight the, um, the, uh, the, the, the watch face. And it looks like it's a four second delay. The, uh, the uh, second hand moves like a quartz. Uh, this is a non screw down crown. It does have one pull uh, position. It hacks the movement and allows you to set the time. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fairly interesting watch. Uh, I'll give you a wrist shot of it. It's, it's certainly an interesting watch. Um, very unique. I mean, I've never seen anything. Well, I have seen one watch quite like it, and that's the Accutron Space View, both the original one from the 60s and 70s and the recent reissue for about, you know, that goes between three, thirty-three hundred and $4,000. Uh, where you can see the guts of the, of the machine. Uh, and you can see this one. And you see how it fits on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It is actually a rather large watch. You can see that AR coating on the crystal. Uh, kind of gives it a blue hue to it. Um, yeah, but, you know, comfortable watch to wear. I, I just dislike NATO straps. I really don't like them. So, let's give you some facts about this big boy. I have my sheet O facts here. This is the electricians, and that's spelled electricians with a Z on the end because maybe they're being edgy. Ha ha. Uh, the electricians watch. Uh, this particular model, as I said, is the blackout watch. They have 13 different models. This is one of them. Uh, it is a 45 millimeter case diameter, 22 millimeter lug. So if you want to fit something a little bit more conventional on this thing, easy enough to do. Uh, 13 and a half millimeter thick, according to my calipers, and 54 millimeter lug to lug, which is from here to here. Has kind of a nice blasted looking uh, case to it. Uh, draw, uh, drawing from my automotive uh, experience and such, it, it feels like very, it looks like very smooth pickup truck bed liner. <laughs> but you know, it is a stainless steel case. It is coated, but it is a stainless steel case. The movement is encased in here. It is a, uh, a nylon sheath that is bolted apparently bolted into the uh, case itself. As I said, it is an in-house electric movement. I couldn't find anything else about it except that it's electric and it's in-house. Uh, proprietary movement. They use a, a hardened K1 mineral crystal with AR coating, and you can see the AR coating kind of playing with the uh, light above me. Uh, it is very weak on water resistance, only three atmospheres. I believe that translates to, what, 30 meters? So don't get it wet. Uh, leather NATO strap, as you see, and we have that fancy LED backlight. Um, overall impressions. Uh, it's a comfortable watch to wear. It does not weigh very much. Um, it, uh, it, it wears comfortably lug to lug on my wrist. However, you know, th those are very elongated lugs. I mean, between my thumb and forefinger is the width of this watch overall, 54 millimeters. You need a good size wrist for this. I don't think anything below seven inch wrist is really going to work well. Uh, maybe six and three quarter. Maybe, depending on if you really like the big watch look or not. But uh, I don't think anything below 7 is really going to look quite right. Um, for my taste, this watch is just a little too funky. 
I'm uh, not a big fan of this offset um, dial area. You know, I like a skeletonized watch. One of my favorite watches of my collection is my Zelo Sky Raiders full skeleton. It's really a beautiful watch. And um, I like skeleton or partial skeleton watches, but this one doesn't work for me. Um, I mean, the battery is here. See the battery? Wonderful. You know, it doesn't matter. But look how big this watch is at 45 millimeter. And look how small the area is where you actually tell time. And in this particular colorway, it's a black watch with kind of a grayish looking watch dial and indices. And the, the second hand is black and the hour hand is silver, but the minute hand is black. It's really, really hard to see this watch at a glance. You can't really tell what time it is, and that's a big problem for me in particular because, you know, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I like to see what time it is when I'm wearing a watch. This is too small, and the colorway is it inhibits quick, at-a-glance time reading. So, you know, I, I try not to be terribly negative in my watch reviews. I do tell it like it is, I believe. And a lot of people appreciate my reviews for that um, aspect. And I'm telling you like it is. This watch is hard to read. It's very big. And, uh, you know, I'm not a fan of NATO straps. So that's three strikes. You're out. Uh, this is not a watch I would generally recommend. I mean, if you like it and you think this, I mean, this is funky uh, and you like a funky looking watch and your eyes are better than mine and your wrist is as big as mine and you can take, um, you, you can take this uh, lug to lug width, uh, go for it. I mean, it, it, they, they price these things very aggressively on the website. Um, and, uh, they're a good bargain. I mean, it's good value for money in terms of, the, you know, a watch that's unique, you know, you know, edgy, stylish, and only between 225 and $450. That's a snapshot in time in early January of 2021. So prices may have changed when you see this. I don't know. I'll leave a link to the website. But for me, this is uh, this is not a watch that uh, I would buy for myself. Uh, maybe as a gift, um, I would I would recommend it if this is your style and you like this kind of thing. It's certainly a good quality piece, and I say go for it. But in, for me, this is not a watch I would purchase. And with that, I'm just gonna leave the video there. I'm just gonna um, say, uh, if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, interesting, informative, or entertaining, or all of the above, please click that thumbs up button for me. That does help the channel. The more likes a video gets, the more likely the video will show up in YouTube searches. And the more likes a video get that appear in searches, uh, the higher up in the ranking uh, of the search results. So thumbs ups help me. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions down below. I read them all. I respond to them all. Uh, however, uh, when it comes to people leaving links in the comments that take my, uh, my subscribers and viewers to bad places on the web, uh, I will delete those comments and I will block the commenter. Likewise, if you decide that you're going to get on to uh, my channel and spew filth, I will, of course, delete the comment and I will block the commenter. Uh, if you're new to my channel, of course, welcome. Happy to have you here. Uh, glad you found the place. Feel free to look around. I have well over 350 videos. In fact, I think I'm getting close to 400 videos on the channel on a variety of subjects. Uh, watch all you want. But before you leave, I do ask that you click the subscribe button. And when you do, click the bell icon next to it so that when I put up new videos, you will be alerted. And when I do live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at noon Eastern time, 
uh, and at other times during the week when time and opportunity allow it, you will be alerted when I go live. You can stop by and join the fun. Meanwhile, stay safe, stay healthy, stay well, and I will see you in my next video.